Hi there, this is Bonnick the Orc, and today I'm playing Gunpoint. And in particular, I'm playing a level that I created myself using the custom level editor that comes with the game. And I thought that there's several people doing walkthroughs and playthroughs of the game. I thought what I'd do is create my own level and make a video solution to it and the level I shall be uploading to gsngaming.com and I'll put a link to it in the description so without further ado I shall talk you through the solution so first of all when we enter the crosslink mode we notice the front door is on a green circuit so we can't open the front door um, but what we'll do is we'll disable the alarm and as you'll notice other than windows the only other way in is through the back door and windows are out because the, the guards will get us as soon as we come through the windows so what we need to do is see so again if I open up the door first and then dispatch the guard I won't get through the green door so I need to get that guard to open this door and the way we do that is to put him in the dark which means now we can open the back door However, the issue we've got now is that that camera, which is wired up to that alarm, if we come in here now and jump on him when he's here, we will slide into that camera, which will then set the alarm off and bring this guard down to kill us. So the way we do it is we wait for this guard to go here, and he should have just had a door in the face. There you go. One guard dispatched. So now we can climb over the roof. And come in here. Now again, we've got the same problem with this alarm. Because as soon as we walk into the field of view of that camera, that guard will hear the alarm and come down. So what we need to do as soon as we can is get down those stairs. So he'll come down to turn the alarm off. We can now wirejack the green circuit, which means we can disable the alarm. Now in order to get rid of that guard, what we do is, because we can't just jump on him and punch him because he's an enforcer, we wait for him to patrol and when he comes back as soon as he's just past that door we come up the stairs and he should be near that socket and we'll give him a little shock there you go one guard dispatched which means we can now come up to here and hack our first computer <coughs> Now the problem we've got now is we can't get any further because it's a blue door, we can't get through it. But, as you can see, the front door is green. Now, we can disable that for starters. Now I think the best way to... we could just open that up and then open that door up, come down and jump on him. But I think the best way to do this is to wire the camera up to this door. Oops. Put him in the dark so he starts patrolling. I think we got him. 
Yep, we did. Nice bit of luck. <laughs> and we can open the f this door. Okay, we've got to open this door again. We've got to open the front door as well. Now we can wire jack the yellow circuit. Now, problem we got here, we can't go down that s those stairs because those two guards will get us. And we can't go up those stairs because those two guards will get us. So we have to get these guards out of the way. And the best way I found to do this is, well, in fact, it's really the only way, as far as I know. And if you can find another way, is we put those guards in the dark and we keep going in and out the camera to keep that vault door open. There you go, so now that'll close. They're now trapped in that room means we can now come up to here. However, if we come up another level, this camera will set off the alarm, which will bring this guy out to kill us. So, the easiest way to dispatch him is the old reverse the door trick. Oops. So that he gets a door in the face when he tries to come and turn the alarm off. There you go. He's down. Now I could open that door using this camera. Problem is I come down and if I come back up I will set that alarm off again which will bring this guard down and he's likely to kill me. And I can't get through this door because it's on the blue circuit. So I do need that guard to come down to open this door. And I found the best way to do that is to come out the front of the building and try to jump through that window. There you go. So I can wire jack the pink circuit. He opens that door for us nicely. And come back down to the ground level. And I want to get rid of that guard because he's in my way. I can turn the alarm off. So I open up the door. So now I've locked him in that room. He's out of the way. No worries. So now the pink circuit is open to us, which means we can get rid of these two guards. The way to do that is we wire this motion sensor up to that plug socket. All we need now is to get those guards to move. And the way to do that is to put them in the dark and just wait. There you go. Two guards nicely dispatched. Use the camera to open the door. those motion sensors to the vault door and hack the next computer. Okay. So now we can come up to this level where we can wire jack the blue circuit, collect another battery. Now I want those two batteries, so we've got to get rid of this guard. Oops. And the way to do that, I think, is the old... door in the face trick. So, come up here, you turn the light out, you'll try and get out to the light switch, 
Maybe a door in the face. We can now get the two batteries. I will close that door. Now this guard here, we could open this door, but if we just open it, he'll shoot us. So we need to make sure that when we open that door, he's not facing it. So we've got to get him to patrol. Just in case it takes a little time. Now you're probably wondering why I didn't just knock him out or kill him. And the reason being is because once we've disabled this camera, we need somebody to open this door for us. And he kindly does that for us. And also we want to get rid of this guard down here. So we wire that up to the plug socket. him out of the way, get him to open this door, we've disabled the camera, get another battery, now down here where there's another computer for us, we've got a guard facing that door, so we need to get him to turn around, so again put him in the dark and he'll start patrolling okay so if we wire this to that door and that to that and that to that we can get down to here Careful with that. <laughs> Make sure we're behind him when we get down there. And dispatch him quite easily. And we wire that switch up to the vault door. We can get in. At the next computer. that up so we can get out. Okay. Now, that's the last objective, but we've also got a secondary objective here. So, if we come down to here, this guy is going to shoot us, so we need to get him facing the other way, or better still, dispatch him. And the easiest way to do that is wire the light switch to the plug socket. And put him in the dark, and wait for him to try and turn the lights on. There you go, nicely done. We also need this guard up here to open this blue door for us. Wait for that blue door to open before I... So I disconnect that so it stays open. Now I'm just going to come straight down to the... door where the laptop is. Okay, so now we've got these two guards. <coughs> now, if we come out of that elevator, one of them is going to see us. 
even if they're patrolling. But the likelihood of them both facing the wrong way long enough for us to hack that computer is slim. So the best way is to first of all wire his gun up. Get him to shoot his buddy in the back. And while we're at it. Make it a bit dark. We'll stay in the elevator until he's gone by. Come out, get the battery. Hack. in the elevator down we come and through the blue door that he opened for us and there we go there you go, so there you have it, that's a solution to my custom level, the tower hope you enjoyed it and found it fun and as I say, I'm going to upload the level to gsngaming.com and there will be a link in the description please rate, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching goodbye